welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this floor beam construction i will show you some common mistakes especially in steel structural design so let me guide you for those mistakes in front of you if you have any question related to this short video or practical video so you can comments i will respond you guys you can see clearly this is end of the beam so this beam is starting from this column okay and here this is its end so if this is the end of the beam so at the end of the beam we are providing development length which make a good bond between steel uh, between steel and concrete also between beam and column guys you can see this is column and this is end of the beam but if you see the first big mistake is here they didn't provide any development length so the upper two steel rods should be uh, bent to the downward side and the downward side steel reinforcement should be uh, bent to the upward side but you can't see any development length so if you are working on construction side so especially for the development length you should know about the knowledge that what is development length where you can provide it and what is the work of development length in steel structural design so this is the first one next guys you can see this is end of the beam but here if you see uh, the span between these two columns is here 14 feet so here at the distance of specially uh, 3.3 feet at the distance of 3.3 feet that's why because l divided by 4 uh, we have uh, to providing the extra steel rods are bent up bar or crank bar so here at the bottom section which is tension zone they didn't provide uh, they provided three three numbers of steel rods in upper portion they used two numbers of steel rods so here they should provide two numbers of uh, extra steel rods at the distance of l by 4 where we have guys here the spacing is about four to five inches or one uh, 100 millimeter you can say so this is the place to provide extra steel rods because we have negative bending moment they didn't provide any extra steel rods but if they provided two steel rods at the bottom uh, four steel rods at the bottom portion so the middle steel rods should be uh, bent up at the distance of l by four but this is economical way but they didn't do uh, this method also so this is very important to know about this as I discussed in many videos that the first stirrup should be placed at the distance of minimum 2 inches they provided at the distance of about 4 inches okay but if you are working on construction site especially at the distance of this place the first stirrup should be placed at the 2 inch spacing okay and the other you can keep up to 4 to 5 inches like this because this is commercial building and this commercial building uh, now this commercial building is about uh, uh, 6 story I am on the top of the fourth story okay so you can see guys this spacing is about six to seven inches it's okay at the distance of l by four the spacing is four to five inches but they didn't provide the extra steel rods which is very helpful and very important to resist negative bending moment if you see this side you can't see anyone look at here okay the other guys you can see they used three numbers of steel rods the dia is 16 millimeter two numbers in tension zone in compression zone num and they used here uh, 16 millimeter for bottom section also for top section they used the same dia so it's okay but the stirrup you can see they use 10 millimeter dia of steel rod but if you see the hooks are bent on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree and this length should be minimum 75 millimeter or three inches okay but they did about two inches okay so it should be bent on 135 degree which can resist especially with earthquake okay so this is important to know about these things which i have discussed so let me show you the other beam so same design same steel reinforcement and same mistakes they did which i have discussed guys you can see that is the end of the beam let me zoom the camera if you see this is end of the beam but they didn't provide any development length this is a kind of uh, a small cantilever beam at the distance or at the uh, distance or you can say which length is about two feet so same design you will find if you see the other beam let me show you look at here so same design they did already so guys there we have about five big mistakes which i have pointed out in this practical video if this video is helpful for you so you may like this video to know about the steel structure design of floor beam especially the common mistakes Uh, before starting the video, uh, I was there, uh, as you can see, the uh, rain has been stopped before 5 to 10 minutes. So now I am recording this video. So it's sleepy. Already they provided, uh, they uh, paste the aisle here. 
on the top of this, but they didn't know about the weather situation. So therefore, okay guys, so this is a short video to guide you about uh, developing length spacing of stirrups, die of stirrup, longitudinal bars, and the size you can see, which is 12 by 18 inches with concrete cover, without concrete cover, this is nine by 15 inches. So thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.